Hi, hello, my name is Jani. Welcome to my channel. This is a cross stitch channel. Oh, oh, let me show you some cross stitch. <laughs> it was really, really empty. <laughs> um, this is um, a, a YouTube channel about cross stitch. And we talk about projects and flosses and fabric. And, you know, we, we like to to make plants <laughs> so this is my my second time trying to record this video hopefully this will be the the good one <laughs> my name is Jani uh, welcome welcome to my channel if you are uh, a new visitor um, take a seat grab a cup of coffee and hopefully you will have fun here in the channel and if you are already a subscriber thank you again for being here with me and let's talk cross stitch <laughs> uh, this time i want to show you some fabrics that i dye some plants and of course this uh this whip this work in progress that i've been working on this is uh, Feliz Navidad by Blackbird Designs and I'm in love with of this project. I really want to, to finish this, this little beautiful sampler, um, you know, before the end of the year. And I'm, I'm almost there. <laughs> I am using um, CXC flosses. I'm using the, the, D, the DMC conversion given in the chart. But instead of using uh, DMC, I, I'm using CXC. These flosses uh, has the, the, have the, the same number as DMC. And, you know, uh, they are uh, very similar almost exactly to the DMC uh, colors. Not quite there. <laughs> I've been uh, stitching with them um the all this uh, year and they are really really nice to to stitch with but the the i found uh little differences between the the colors of these flosses and the the colors of the original um dmc you know floss uh, these are uh, polyester uh flosses and they feel silkier and softer than DMC. The coverage is really good with these ones. Uh, they are a little thicker than DMC, but you know, they. I don't like to call them a, a better floss or a bad floss, floss. They are just different. They are different materials. Um, the the one of the things that I don't like about this is that I can uh, dye these flosses as I dye the DMC because uh, with the colors that I use for for my dyeing um, they work really well with cotton but because this is a synthetic uh, fiber the colors don't work with this you need to use different process to dye this um, this this uh, CXC this polyester uh, flosses, but uh, the one that that came you know with the colors, you can watch them. They don't um, you know they they don't suffer any damage after after watching them. They don't uh, shrink, and they are really really nice to work with. Um, I am preparing my annual review of my stitching through the year and most of my projects uh, are stitched with with these flosses and they are fantastic to to work with so if you have the chance to try some of them you know as an experience and you can find them uh, i guess in amazon you can order uh, directly for from aliexpress I I got them. I got this uh, at my local needlework store because they are starting to sell these flosses here, you know, locally. So I am 
you know, getting my, my flosses here. So it's more convenient for me. Uh, not as cheap as if I order uh, them directly from, you know, Amazon or, or, or AliExpress. But I prefer this way because I can, you know, check the colors and order just the, the flosses that I need because I... I understand that um, you can order like like a package of these colors, but you not always can choose which colors. So yeah, I prefer to to <laughs> to get it uh, here in my city. So the fabric that I'm sorry that I'm running, but <laughs> if somebody um, call me or something. Uh, I don't want to start this all over again. Um, I, I'm using this fabric that I dye, and I'm loving this fabric with this this project. Uh, this project is so pretty and so cute, and have all these beautiful little motifs. And you know, I I'm feeling a little more uh, Christmassy <laughs> after I stitch this. Uh, because I was not in the Christmas mood, <laughs> frankly, but this is so pretty that yeah, I'm I'm getting there. I'm getting there, and I'm finishing the the bottom part of the design, and I need to you know <laughs> to complete all all the letters. I I enjoy stitching letters. Is is uh, some stitchers don't really like stitching letter but for me it's fun because you you finish each letter really really quick and no problem but in this case every every letter is uh, in a different color so i need to change the flaws so that um, slow my process a little bit but other than that i'm in love of this of this project and you know, talking about uh, changing the 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 flosses for for each color, uh, I recall, you know, the those stitchers who who work on projects uh, like Heaven and Earth, which are you know full coverage, and they have these amazing systems where they prepare each uh, color with. A, a individual needle so they took uh, the needle for each color and that kind of, of, of method always amazed me because they are so organized and <laughs> and I, I just use you know one one needle and change it uh, in it for for each color but of course, they are different projects, but yeah, it's it's um, fun to me to watch all these different systems. And you know, as as the use of many needles or one needles, or uh, as many of us teacher, we stitch in hand with with uh, any hoop or frame, and there are just different ways to to stitch. It's not a better way or a you know, a bad way. Um, again, it's like the the the, the flosses. Uh, perhaps there are stitchers who only like to to stitch with silks, but uh, it's not because silks are better, but it's just different. There are all uh, personal preferences, and it's very nice that we are able to know all these different types of materials and methods and techniques and we can learn from them and you know adapt the way we stitch as we feel more happy <laughs> so yeah uh, I, I as again I, I really want to, to finish this project for for uh, this year to be my my um, last finish uh, my husband already uh, prepare me, uh, you know, adapt the the frame. So I have this old frame, really <laughs> a little distressed, and I love how it looks with the with the project. It's uh, very very exact, the same uh, you know size of, as the finished um, uh, stitching, but I love it. 
I think that it looks so pretty. So I really need to, to finish my stitching in order to to frame it <laughs> and to you know slowly completing my my sampler collection because this year I pretty much stitch a lot of, of uh, sampler uh, designs and, and sampler projects and I really enjoy every one of them uh, this uh, sampler um, motifs and the border and the the, the I, I like to call it the, the rhythm of the of the projects really really works with me <laughs> I feel so relaxing and I find the logic in the in the samplers very very soothing very calming and I love to work on my samplers so yeah hopefully in my next video you will see this uh, completely finished yeah fingers crossed so uh, also this weekend I I dye some fabric um, again the, the same type of fabric that I got here uh, locally it's um, a 36 count in cotton and I was trying to to make you know this uh, neutral uh, <laughs> colors for my my samplers but you know me um, I'm very colorful so even though I try to make them look uh, neutral and 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 calm and <laughs> very mute i needed to to add some colors so this uh this one it's with some yellows and browns and i create this uh, orange with red and brown and yellow and you know to to try to to evoke this uh, primitive look in the in the fabric. I love this kind of of uh, combination uh, for samplers, and it's funny how we we I I record a Spanish video with the process of of these uh, dyeing um, fabrics with a, a, a stitchy friend. Uh, he was, you know, dying uh, with a different method at his home, and I was dying, you know, my fabrics at home, and we we record together. So it was really fun watch the different types of of, of ways to to dye fabric, and it's always so addictive, and it's an adventure, and sometimes you can finish with lovely <laughs> fabrics, and sometimes you will need you know to to dye the fabric again or to uh, start over you know the the fabric but it's part of the of the fun and i really love it and it's it's interesting how uh i create you know this different in 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 cups with the with the paint or the dyes and then start making um um, combination and you end with something totally different from the the, the colors in the beginning so yeah I, I really enjoy that process of of discover uh, the the colors in my fabric <laughs> this one it's a, a very pretty one you know with this mint uh, green teal colors and this brown and uh, pearl gray and I love it. It looks like a marble uh, piece. And yeah, I really, really like it. Very pretty. Perhaps not as as uh, primitive or uh, as classic as we we saw in the <laughs> for the for the samplers, but I love in it. Uh, this is more um, you know a, a forest green with blue with browns <laughs> and yeah I, I i just put it um green color and brown and you um squeeze the you know crunch the fabric really tight and to in order to achieve these these creases and it looks so pretty all these fabrics i didn't put it in the oven because baking the fabrics um, are another ways to 
to achieve this kind of creases but in this case I just uh, die with the with the pain and this last one uh, again a, a little minty uh, gray color and this like uh, pinkish uh, aubergine <laughs> color burgundy <laughs> I don't know. Um, I I mix uh, red color and and blue and achieve this this color, this new color, and I love it. It looks so pretty, and yeah, that's <laughs> that's very part of me that I I love everything. So I always try to to find um, the beauty in in the in, in in my stitching in my process in my adventure sometimes i <laughs> uh, they are not the the best results but uh, even though you can use that fabric it's always an experience and it helps uh, as a learning uh, process so yeah and because i was dyeing this fabric i i thought you know what um, I can use this for for future uh, projects because <laughs> one of my plans for next year is to 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 no start no no new starts for 2021. So in my uh, um, stitchy logic, I will need to start more things on December. In order to to not um, <laughs> in order to to not start new things on on 2021 so <laughs> I was um, thinking you know planning the projects that I really want to start on December to work on, on next year and I have this lovely sampler by the blue flower uh, this is Huckleberry Farm, and I already have, you know, the the flosses. Um, again, CXC uh, using the conversion given in the chart, and I had this uh, this fabric that I dyed, and it's very similar to the cover. Mine is more uh, purple. The cover is more like um, rose you know dusty rose but i was thinking that perhaps i could use one of of the new fabrics i don't know <laughs> but you know uh, trying to to think outside the box so in this case the the this color it's very similar to to this uh the color in the cover so perhaps i could play with uh this option I don't know tell me what you think <laughs> and I also had um, this one uh, this is um, from Plum Street Samplers Blackberry House and I have the the flosses oh my god they are so pretty and I already have the the fabric for this this minty um, 40 count linen but I was thinking you know what perhaps we can play a little and let me take the the chart out of the of the plastic because so again I was <laughs> these are the colors and I was thinking perhaps in using this minty fabric but I can use this one I don't know what do you think perhaps too dark I don't know <laughs> but I, I love the fabric and I love the flosses and I love the design and decision decision so the, the thing that I know is that I need to start this on December <laughs> you know even even just a couple of, of stitches so I can call it a, a work in progress for next year but I love it it's so pretty <laughs> so yeah I'm, I'm still thinking in in the fabric to use I could uh, this one it's more yellow yeah this this is not working for me this one but this one I don't know I feel 
interesting interesting <laughs> um i also was thinking in this um, let me show you in this one by um, by uh, teresa bennett a shakespeare peddler designer and it's Mer mercy good heart sampler and i love it it's so you know quirky and pretty and funky and i i don't know i love it but i i have this neutral actually neutral fabric for this project and the the flosses the colors are so pretty look at this oh my god don't you want to start right away with this and again i was thinking perhaps you know using something different something more bold <laughs> out there so yeah i don't know here for example i i love how how the colors work with with this uh fabric i'm a little you know <laughs> out there but yeah i love it i love it looks so pretty and this one i imagine uh a beautiful sampler again with a like rusty pinky colors really bold uh, you know wine colors um, burgundy reds and I think uh, it will look amazing here I don't have that um, particular sampler <laughs> but I imagine those colors here something like um the 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 red deer sampler by gg gg designs something like that but yeah i really want to to enrich this fabric with really bold colors i don't know tell me what you think <laughs> um again talking about things that I need to start this uh, December uh, it's Isabella Uffindale I, ha I have the 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 flosses um, I will be using CXC flosses for this oh, I feel you know <laughs> so irreverent because this is a a, a classic and a beautiful um, hands across the sea uh, design and i will be using polyester and mexican fabric so yeah <laughs> it's an adventure but again i was thinking perhaps in using um, something bold so if i don't get that sampler you know that rich uh, red and burgundy color i can you know uh, make Isabella really bold <laughs> in this in this fabric so I don't know I, I love it I love it um, tell me tell me your your thoughts I am really crazy or I might have some <laughs> some something good going on um, you know the, the idea is to enjoy the the process having fun uh, this year has been really really challenging for all of us and our stitching and this amazing community it has been like a, a savior for for many of us uh, you know a light of hope uh, coming home and having all these flosses all this fabric all these beautiful designs to to comfort us and to let us be creative and be you know more human so yeah uh, this is my report for this for this week i hope all for you a, a wonderful uh week i i want to 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 record a video before christmas but if not if i don't see you <laughs> in the next few days have a wonderful christmas have a wonderful holidays um take care of yourselves take care of your families 
and I will, I will see you in my next video. Happy stitching. Bye-bye.